Hi, this is Geshe Michael Roach coming back to you on six different kinds of frustration that I feel about time. And the third one that I'd like to talk about is this terrible feeling of time pressure. And I give it the name time anxiety. You know, it's one thing to be super busy. Uh, and I, I'm a very busy person and I enjoy it. Um, it's one thing to be busy, busy, busy. But it's a different thing to feel this time pressure, you know, to feel this time anxiety. And I can think, uh, I, I, sometimes I think about cell phones, you know, and uh, cell phones were supposed to save us time, you know. The, the idea of having, I didn't have a cell phone for a long time. I kind of uh, tried to avoid it, I tried to resist it. In fact, I have a, a very good friend who's a very famous astronomer, uh, and he refuses to have a cell phone. He says, I don't want uh, this thing going off and beeping. I have thought processes in my life. I, I'm responsible for a large telescope, a large observatory, and I, do, I don't want these constant interruptions, beep, beep, bell, bells going off and telling me someone wants to talk to me or someone has a message for me, I can't focus. And it's a strange thing, you know, if, if you look at this lady here, uh, this time, let's talk about the time, Seiji, the, the countdown of the time. I don't know, every time I pick up my cell phone, this is what I feel like. Maybe you're like that, you know, I feel like, oh, you know, it's counting down and how many seconds you have. And uh, it's kind of sad that everyone's clock is the same now. You know, it's all controlled by cell phone towers. It used to be you could put your clock a little ahead or you could put your clock a little bit back and you would have more time. But these things are dictators, you know. These things tell you uh, what time it is exactly to the second. And the whole world now is on exact time. You know, if I have a Zoom call and it's at, I don't know, 7 o'clock p.m., I feel bad if I go at 7.01 or 7.02 because everyone's clock is connected to the tower and time is like a dictator, you know. Time is like giving us all pressure. Time is demanding our time and, and this thing is demanding our time. And, and I can remember uh, coming back from my diamond jewelry company one night. Uh, I used to commute, long commute on the bus. I, I used to use the time on the bus, uh, two hours to, to read ancient books or study some cool ideas or to be quiet and think. Actually, a lot of people in New York, business people like me who do, who, who do long commutes, you know, uh, later they say they miss it. They miss those two hours uh, to read a book or to think about their life, to be quiet for two hours on the way home. But I can remember one night coming home from the diamond business, I remember getting off the bus and my chest was tight, you know, my chest felt very tight. And it's a terrible feeling. And I think many of us have this same kind of feeling. Maybe you have it. It feels something tight in your chest. Sometimes it feels like a headache. You know, sometimes it feels like a half a migraine is starting or something like that. But this, it's this actual pressure. It's time pressing on you and, and creating this anxiety, you know. So I, I think if we're going to talk about how to use your time, it's not enough just to talk about being efficient with time or making more time. It's our feeling about time. Does time make us feel pressure, you know? Does time uh, feel like pressure all the time? I, I want to show you a video, okay? Here's a little, I love this, this little video, okay? I found this, uh, you know, on an ad agency. And I, this video is how I want to be. I want my time to be like this lady, you know. She's checking the time. 
she's aware of the time. It's not that she's not aware of the time. Uh, but she's smiling about the time. How often do you see somebody check the time and they have this kind of relaxed smile uh, on their face, you know? And, and I, I don't want you to forget this video. I want you to remember this one. You know, look at the time, look at her face when she checks the time. Look how she's feeling about the time. And that's another big topic we have to master in our life, okay? I don't want to, personally, I like, I want to be busy. I want to do many things. I have many, many more things that I would like to do in my life. I, I have things I really want to try. I have things I want to do. Uh, last week I took a, a restaurant course. I took a whole course about uh, how to, how to run a restaurant, and uh, two of us took it, uh, me and my assistant, Ellie. In fact, uh, we took an examination at the end. She got a 90, I got a 83, 83? I was upset. But I want, you know, I don't want somebody to tell me, Geshla, you don't have time to, to buy it. We bought a cafe, I bought a cafe. I like cafes. I always wanted to have a cafe. I'm not a cafe business person. I don't know anything about cafes, but I bought one because they're fun. And I don't want somebody to, to tell me, you don't have time to, to buy an extra business, you know, you don't have time for that. And I also don't want to feel this intense pressure on my chest. I don't want this squeezing my chest, squeezing my heart, like I feel I might have a heart attack or a stroke, you know, I have so many things to do. I have so many demands on my time. I, I don't want to be one of those people who's nervous all the time about time. I want to find a way to manage my time where I'm having a good time all the time, you know. I want to do many things I want to do many projects. I want to own many businesses. I want to touch many people. I want to work together with many people and do things together. And I don't want to feel time pressure. I want to feel happy. I want to feel relaxed. You know yourself, you've had this before. You know, you've had this feeling that you see in the picture, in the video. You've had days when you were very busy and you had a lot to do, but you felt relaxed and you felt like it was fun, you know. And you've also had days when it felt like you were having a lot of time pressure and you, if your chest felt bad, you, you, got, you got upset at people, you got grumpy at people. So I think a big part of time management is not just to learn to do a lot of things at the same time. Is there a method that we can learn to be very busy and very productive and at the same time to feel totally relaxed, you know? Can we be busy, super busy and super productive and at the same time we feel just like we're having fun. And, you know, this, this long-term uh, damage on your body, if you don't master this kind of time management, if you keep feeling anxiety, it's very destructive to your body. It's very damaging to your health. You know, you see these business people who worked in a high-pressure environment, and they didn't know how to manage the pressure, the feeling. And then it made them sick. I, I know many, many diamond people, big, big diamond people, biggest in the world. And they get strokes, uh, they get ulcers, they're always nervous, they're always unpleasant to their, their people they work with and their people who work for them. So can we manage. Is there a special method to reach some kind of 
enjoyment while you're very, very busy. And this is a big part of time management. Okay, next, on the next video, we're going to go into the problem of sometimes the time goes by too fast when I'm having a good time. And then sometimes the time just goes too slow. Can we do anything about that? Can we change the speed of time? Let's check it out in the next video. See you then.